Hello and welcome one more time. My name is Alex Centeno. And in this episode, we're going to learn how to apply a lot uh, to the current timeline uh, clips. So basically, you're going to, from Python, just basically give it a path to the LUT, and it's going to apply it to all the clips that are found in the current timeline. Let's take a look. All right, so my file uh, has the shebang in the first line, and then I'm going to call foundation, which you by now should know what it does. Uh, if not, uh, check out all of the other tutorials based uh, on uh, Python and the Vinci result before. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the current timeline. Then we're going to uh, list all the items that it finds in that track that are uh, on video track one. And what we're going to do is give it a cube file uh, location uh, that we're going to call LUT. Uh, finally, what we're going to do is just going to iterate over those items found on the timeline, uh, basically applying the LUT to all of those items in the timeline. So let's take a look at what we have here in DaVinci Resolve. So here in DaVinci Resolve, I'm just going to select two clips and drag them into my timeline. And I'm going to put them here at the beginning. So I have two clips and that's pretty much it. And I'm going to call the file and hopefully is going to apply the LUT to these two clips automatically. All right, so I am here in my terminal and what I'm gonna do is call that file Python 3 for applied LUT to current timeline Pi. Hit enter and it's going to apply the code at 2383. The 60 cube LUT to two times one for each clip. Let's take a look. It looks like nothing happened, but if you actually click on each one, you'll see that it refreshes and it has applied the LUT to each of the clips. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.